crude oil. Crude oil since the middle of this year has dropped by um, nearly half from uh, around $120 in June all the way down to about $70 at the beginning of December. Since then, over the last couple of weeks, we do see a bit of a bounce, but uh, does this bounce have a potential to um, be something of a sustainable rally? Let's talk about that. Welcome to MyFinanceTeacher.org, where we frequently discuss a range of assets, including the general stock market, precious metals, energy, including crude oil, cryptos, and other commodities. By the way, about crude oil, We've discussed crude oil and more over a week ago with the members at myfinanceteacher.org. So for more frequent updates, join us before I remove this introductory offer half price for the first month. So uh, looking back at crude oil, to be honest, I do think crude oil is a little bit tricky over here. I have a couple of scenarios and uh, in my opinion, both of these scenarios have relatively equal uh, chance of playing out something around the 50 50. the first scenario is where the previous cycle in crude oil finished over here at the end of september although the subsequent rally into the new cycle wasn't very convincing usually the signs that we look at with the members at myfinanceteacher.org that help us identify the end of one cycle and the start of another is that the price rallies significantly above the 50-day moving average and RSI rises by over 20 points while crossing the neutral level at 50. Both of these signals uh, did play out over here in October, but again, we didn't see a convincing rally above the 50-day moving average, although crude oil did stay above that average for a couple of weeks or more. So the first scenario is where the cycle in crude oil finished in late September. Since then, we're in a new cycle. And in that case, this recent early December low would give us an extremely unusually short cycle of only 74 days. That I think is not very likely. Meaning that if we are already in a cycle that has been going on for um, 95 days by now, crude oil will uh, probably continue to trend lower, perhaps after bumping its head into this resistance zone from the 50-day moving average and a few of the recent uh, highs and lows all the way back from September, that resistance is somewhere around $82. So after bumping the head over here, the first scenario implies that crude oil will continue down for another few weeks to give us that more recognizable cycle low before a rally into a new cycle. And that would bring the cycle duration closer to an average, perhaps somewhere on 160 days, perhaps a bit shorter. But as I mentioned, since the recent bounce in October wasn't uh, that significant, there is a chance that after a bit of a counter trend bounce, the intermediate cycle in oil actually continued down and finished in early December. Meaning that we are very early into the beginning of a new crude oil cycle. These usually last for five months. So in that case, perhaps uh, bouncing the head on this resistance of around $82 might only bring some sort of a short-term correction, perhaps down to the middle of the Bollinger Bands before the rally continues, perhaps confirming that this is a new cycle rally which would give us a nice looking inverse head and shoulders formation, a bit of a technical sign, technical confirmation as well. Looking at more data, looking at the optimism index over here, back in early December, optimism index did drop all the way down to 30. That is usually where relatively good buying opportunities do appear. So the chart of the optimism index agrees with the second scenario, perhaps suggesting relative strength to crude oil over the next few weeks. But of course, the first scenario is still quite likely as crude oil likes sometimes to retest the sentiment lows before a true rally takes place. Something similar on the optimism index uh, did actually take place around September, October 2020. Looking at a 10, 11 year seasonality in crude oil, it also suggests that the second scenario is perhaps a little bit more likely as after a bit of a dip somewhere around mid-December, crude oil generally tends to uh, trend higher with some corrections for uh, quite a few weeks for a couple of months. So optimism index and seasonality both suggest that perhaps this second scenario is slightly more likely, but looking at the relative weakness of the general stock market, unless there is a bit of a bounce in the stock market over the next uh, couple of weeks, crude oil might actually uh, struggle to break above this resistance, again, propping up the likelihood of the first scenario as well. But in either case, 
either accumulating over the relatively short-term dips sometime in early January or perhaps accumulating over more significant cycle lows perhaps sometime around February might uh, not really be a bad idea as whichever of the scenarios plays out in the relatively shorter term in a slightly longer term crude oil might do relatively well as uh, recently it had already dropped by a uh, 20% below its 200 day moving average the lower chart over here is the percentage distance from that 200 day moving average and while this 20% stretch on the downside isn't that significant historically speaking versus relatively prominent drops as in the pandemic low over here with minus 70 or lower on the futures with this 30% in early 2019 and this continued 45, 35, 40% drop below the 200 day moving average that was at the time of the oil glut being all over the news moving further back into history back to the global financial crisis which gave us 60% stretch followed by a notable 17% stretch in September 2011 and 20% stretch in mid 2020 so comparing to all of these uh, very prominent drops the current 20% uh, stretch below the 200 DMA isn't that significant but it's much more than the drop in uh, a lot of the regular cycle lows in crude oil where we see a drop below the 200 day moving average of um, only 5% or so or perhaps even just a retest of that 200 day moving average so unless what's happening right now is something uh, substantially prominent crude oil will likely recover to at least retest the 200 day moving average perhaps if in the next few weeks if the second scenario is not going to play out then perhaps over the next few months in a new cycle as it starts perhaps after some lows in february or march so the point i want to convey here is that crude oil has been relatively stretched below this 200 day moving average and if not very soon some sort of a retrace back towards that average might be likely so as i mentioned what i will try to do is i'll try to accumulate on the dips whether it's going to be a short-term dip before a rally or a substantial dip down into the cycle low before the start of a new cycle but what do i know nobody actually knows the future so for that reason i'm curious what do you think about crude oil going into say the first quarter of next year by the way talking about next year let me wish you to stay healthy and become more wealthy during the next year Happy New Year, have a wonderful weekend, bye bye.